Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at two new figures from the Blue Beetle line from Spin Master. This is Battle Mode Blue Beetle and Hero Mode Blue Beetle. Uh, the differences are subtle, but we'll get into them. As far as I can tell, these are the only two figures in the line. I just found these today at my local Target and there was nothing else. I don't know if there's going to be any villains from the movie in the line or what. We'll have to wait and see. So it's just kind of two different versions of Blue Beetle here. You can see we have this plastic-free kind of open packaging, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it seems to be all right. Uh, yeah, the backs, I believe, are exactly the same. Nothing really going on there. Just a picture of Blue Beetle. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much it for the packaging. Pretty standard. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. So here are the two figures out of the packaging. Now, they are pretty much exactly the same figure with a few differences. Obviously, this one has the pincers here on the back, and then this one has the forearm kind of, you know, transformed into a cannon. Other than that, they are exactly the same, as far as I can tell. So I don't really know that we needed to have two. I feel like maybe they could have just done, you know, like a price point of, you know, $15 and just put all the accessories in with one figure. But they are pretty cheap, honestly. I think they were $7.99 a piece. So I guess that would be about the same price. But in any case, uh, it does look nice. I really do like the paint and the detailing. I think the helmet looks really sharp. Then you can kind of see it's jiggling around a little bit, which is kind of weird because like it does have a really nice snug rotation side to side. But for some reason, it does seem like it jiggles around a little bit, which is weird. But it looks very nice. Paint here on the chest, I think, looks really sharp. He's got the forearm piece here. I think all this is just different colored plastic. I don't think this is paint. So, unfortunately, on mine, uh, from the, being in the packaging, the ankle warped a little bit. There's no articulation in the ankle, but the plastic on mine is just a little warped, so he kind of has, like, a weird 45-degree angle at the at the ankle. So, be careful when you're looking at these in the store. Um, but, yeah, so for this one, he has the cannon forearm, so it's just kind of a different piece. This is a separate accessory. It doesn't launch or anything. It just kind of plugs in there, and I guess you can pretend it's launching at an enemy something like that and then he comes with the sword i'm assuming because he has that sword in the trailer uh there's really no way to have him rest it on the back of his shoulders which i think would be cool but the articulation just doesn't account for that it's kind of a softer more malleable plastic as you can see here and uh it's got a little bit of detailing molded in there but it's very soft and, and malleable so depending on how you store it it could probably warp pretty easily um but yeah i do like the look of the pincers on the back i think that's really cool you have you know the whole backpack here very nicely detailed they did a pretty good job with that uh, as i said the head can swivel side to side you have a rotation in the shoulder now there is a hinge i believe because it does move a little bit but unfortunately the massive shoulder armor just basically makes it you know worthless because it can't really go any further than that it hits immediately into the chest armor so it kind of makes it null and void but you do have a hinge here in the elbow as well as a rotation same over here uh, from the forearm down one solid piece so nothing in the wrist uh, like i did mention this just comes out uh, it is not a firing mechanism or anything like that it just sits in there nothing in the waist uh, we do have nice, normal, ball-jointed hips, though. I do appreciate that. So you can kind of move these all around, no issues. You can kick about a 45-degree angle out to the side, and then maybe 45-degree angle to the front, something like that. Uh, but it is just, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it is just a normal ball joint. So I guess it was just Black Adam that they did those weird swivel hinge things, which I, I hate those for hips. Uh, you do have a normal thigh swivel. You do have a hinge and a rotation at the knees, just like the elbows. And then from the knee down is one solid piece. And like I said, unfortunately, mine's a little warped. Maybe some warm water or a hair dryer or something can help me bend that back. But yeah, so this is the battle mode. And I do like the sword. I just I wish he could kind of rest it on his shoulder like he does in the trailer because that's such a cool pose. But unfortunately, because that shoulder armor just nullifies any articulation out to the side or anything like that. Well, what if I turn it? Can I do like this? No, you still can't really. 
get anything out of there, but I think I can see the hinge in there. It's just not really accessible. So we'll see if we can get him to stand. Because because of the weapons, he is kind of front heavy as well, so it is kind of a bummer that mine won't stand. We're just going to lay him down. Here is the hero mode, Blue Beetle. Uh, which, of course, does not have the pieces on the back, and he's got two normal hands. And then he comes with these circle blade things. I'm really not 100% sure what they're supposed to be. For all I know, I have him holding them incorrectly. I don't know. None of these come with instructions. I don't really know what instructions they would need, but there's really nothing in the packaging other than you have to lift up the little flap at the bottom to get the, the bag out that has the accessories underneath. So... Don't throw the packaging away until you get the accessories out of it, because I almost did. But again, you know, same figure here, really nicely painted head. I think, just all in all, I think they look very sharp. I think that's the number one thing that they have going for them, is the detailing and the paint. Because it's almost kind of a metallic paint to it, even with the black. Which I just think, you know, the light catches it and it looks really sharp. And I like that quite a bit. And of course, if you want to mix and match the accessories... You can, you know, give this one the sword. Obviously, the, the forearm piece does not come off for the launcher, but you could totally give this guy the sword if you'd rather do something like that. So this is just kind of like a basic blue beetle, and then this is the, like, fully deployed... I just, I don't know why they had to be two. I feel like just do a combo pack and, and put all the accessories and just make them attachable or removable. They easily could have made something that could have just... You know, or or he could have held it and it kind of kind of just been on his arm, something like that. Maybe it was a little hollow underneath, not a big deal. And they could have made those pieces just peg into the back. I feel like they totally could have just done one figure, but they got me to buy two, so here we are. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I would say pick your favorite one. If you really want both, go for it. Um, they're fairly cheap, like I said, $7.99, so they're not breaking the bank. But they are good little figures. I mean, they have good articulation. Just make sure when you get one... You know, with the open packaging, you make sure that you don't have any warping on the ankles, because apparently that's very possible. But yeah, it's a really nice looking figure. I think the amount of detailing, even on the back, you know, they did everything over there. Uh, the, the metallic paint looks really sharp. I really do like this figure quite a bit. It's the usual amount of articulation that we're used to. The only thing that I would complain about is the shoulder pads. Now, I know he kind of needs them to complete the look, and it does look nice, but if they could have found a way to at least give us something in the shoulder articulation because unfortunately it just it has nowhere to go so if they could have done something or found some way to make that work that would have been nice but that's really my only complaint i mean like i said we have the nice hips we have all the other articulation i would expect from spin master the accessories are decent you know not amazing but they're perfectly fine and yeah, all in all, I think they're pretty good figures, just those shoulders, but it's a really sharp looking figure, especially, I really, I think I'm kind of gravitating more towards this one just because I like this, but I'm not a huge fan of this. That's why I wish there was a way I could unpeg these and put them over here because I would love the look of him with just those being able to be pegged in or removed. But yeah, I mean, they're good looking figures. I really wish they would also do more. I'd be surprised if this is really the only two we're going to see in the whole line. Hopefully they're maybe just holding some characters back because they're spoilers or something like that. That's kind of what I'm hoping. Maybe once the movie actually releases, we will see uh, some of the villains and other things and maybe some support characters. I don't know. But there might not be any other support characters. It might just be Blue Beetle versus a villain and that's it. I've seen in the trailer that there's like a villain version of blue beetle almost like you know someone who has a very similar power but is the villain they do this a lot in origin story movies you know iron man had iron monger uh they do this kind of stuff where they're just like copy the hero's powers but make him evil You're like, all right i guess that's what we're doing but in any case uh good figures decent accessories and yeah i definitely for eight dollars i feel like it's definitely worth picking one of them up um, you know, Spin Master continues to do a pretty decent job expanding the 4-inch line, and it's nice to have a Blue Beetle in the mix, because I don't think they've done anything Blue Beetle so far, so it's definitely nice to add him to the roster, and it'll work very well with your other 4-inch figures. Uh, just for fun, here is the, the Blue Beetle page puncher, just so you can get an idea of size there. I think these are about 3, and these are 4. 
seems like it's more than an inch apart, but that's what it is supposedly. So yeah, really nice figures. I like them a lot. Uh, I think for the price, you can't go wrong. I just feel like they didn't need to do two separate figures for this. And I really wish mine could stand on its, oh, hey, look, you did it. We'll see how long that lasts. So <laughs> I think they're good figures. I definitely recommend getting at least one. You know, if you want both, go for it. But pick your favorite, at least get one. I think for the price, it's definitely pretty sharp and it's a pretty nice looking little figure. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.